Hey, what is up guys? It is Fatal here, and I actually have yet another tutorial in Cinema 4D for you. And this is to create the crystalline effect. This effect is basically Nitro Blast, using an Atom Array, and that's it. It's literally that easy. This took me like 10 minutes to learn, and I actually learned it from Lax. So, shout out to this guy, Lax Bra. He's got amazing tutorials on his channel. Go check him out. He's who I learned this from, and he's got some sick materials. Anyways, so, as you can see, this effect is a nitro-blasted rock with a grunge effect, and atom array with neon colors and neon rocks. Okay, so let's get started. What you want to do first is get your Lightroom. Yet again, I'm using Robbie's Lightroom. I'm going to use them from all my tutorials. Get your logo. Maybe shrink it down a bit. Bring it over here. And you want to put your extrude nerves onto your logo. Sorry guys, I'm a bit out of breath. Show for a jog. Okay. Now you can group your logo together, your extrude nerves. And then make it a bit thicker. Depending on what you want to do. Rename it to whatever your logo is, just so it's simple. Change the fillet caps. The change the caps to both fillet cap and end one. I mean radius one and one. And as you can see, it rounds it off a little bit more and looks a bit nicer. So now what you want to do is you want to copy the lo copy the logo, place it into an atom array. But before you do that, you need to go to your extrude nerves, click. On the caps side, click N type, change from N gons to triangles. As you can see, it makes the atom array different. As you can see here. Then you want to change the atom array, turn on the sphered radius so you don't see them anymore. And then maybe turn down the cylinder radius a little bit. As you can see, you've got like an exoskeleton and it looks really nice. Now, what you want to do is you want to get your logo. And then want to use Nitro Blast main medium, change that to high quality, and use 40 pieces, and then just break it. Oh yeah, you gotta choose your extrude nerves. Sorry. And then break it. <coughs> now as you can see here, we have our logo and it's fully completed. So we can put the pieces. Oh wait, whoops. Make a MoGraph and then go to fracture. Then Move all of the pieces into the fracture on as many nerves as you've got in your logo. So because mine's got two nerves, I'm gotta bring two of I gotta bring two of them in. Then you can delete the old Nitro Blast files and the old dare. Then you wanna click on the fracture, click effector, random, and that'll break all the pieces and make it look really weird. So what you wanna do is you want to turn down the strength a little bit. So it looks like you've got a broken logo and it's over the exoskeleton a little bit, but it's not too much. Wait, guys, I just said turn down my sphere radius because I can still see it. Okay, there we go. So you can still see like part of the exoskeleton, but you can also see part of the rocks all around it. So what you want is you want to click all of the pieces in the fracture, hold, click them, shift, click them all, and then you want to right click on your material and then click apply and this will automatically apply your material to it but what you're gonna have to do is you want to click all the wait I'm just gonna undo that because you actually need to change the projection to whatever looks best I always use cubic because it looks really nice and then what you need to do is you need to bring in a tube I use tubes because I usually make these on on um cylinder not cylinder on spherical logos and it just looks a lot better than something else than anything else so what you want to do is you want to actually bring it down to about the same size as the logo you can check by moving it over into the middle like that and then you want to make the sphere radius about the same size as the inner radius about the same size as the other, maybe a little bit smaller, 
as you can see, oh, it's a bit too small. And then you want to drag that in to your logo. And without clicking anything, having nothing clicked, you want to go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. Then you want to group the tube and the random together. Click Deformer, make it point. As you can see, you get this really retarded look now. It looks really stupid and it just doesn't look right. So what you want to do is you want to turn down the random, change the effector strength down to about 30. So you got some rocks popping out, but it also looks really, it looks all right. And you want to go to your content browser, choose your materials that you want to use. Um, there's actually a one, one that I don't have yet. So I, I'm actually just going to use ones from my other packs. I use these a lot in my tutorials, as you can tell, because it just looks really nice and it looks better. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this one and you got to put it on the random. Change the UV mapping to cubic, and then drag it also onto your atom array using the same projection. Or you can keep it a different one, but Yami is a spherical one. So we're just gonna quick rend quickly render this out, see what it looks like. As you can see already, it's full of color and glows a lot. But yet again, shout out to Laxbra. He actually does a lot of cool Cinema 4D tutorials on his channel. And he also does edits, so check him out, guys. Most of his stuff have been edits now. I think that's all he does, actually. Yeah. So, he's got his one here, his Sick Crystal tutorial. That's the one that he did. Cinema 40 Amazing Render Tutorials, that's with uh, Reaper X. So, I hope you guys like his videos. I do, they're really good. Anyways, let's go check back on our render. So as you can see, the logo is popping out and the atom array looks like a bit of an exoskeleton. I just want to show you what the rock looks like. So I'm going to come back when my thing has finished rendering. Okay guys, I am back and it is finished. I was gone for like a minute and boom, it started doing it properly. And this is the crystalline effect. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It did not take very long. Most of my tutorials range from 6 minutes to 9 minutes. And this is, this is the turnout. It looks really nice, and like I've been telling you, I'm only doing Cinema 4D renders at the moment. I will be doing tutorials for banners later on, but I just can't do it right now because my Photoshop is not working. Like, it just opens and then crashes straight away, so I'm going to have to reinstall it or do something with it. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been Fatal teaching you Cinema 4D. Peace.